thing. I've changed. I've changed for the better. I grew up. And more importantly, I've mastered my own business. In the world of sports television, Clay Travis, I've been number one for 12 years. Come April 1st, we're marked yep. 12 consecutive years. I've been number one. And not only have I been number one every year, I've been number one every week and every month of every year for the last 12 years. You don't get to say that about too many people. Um, I look at whether it's Pat McAfee, it's Mike Greenberg, it's Scott Van Pelt, it's Troy Aikman, it's Joe Buck, it's Kirk Herb Street. the list goes on and on. I'm so honored to have the colleagues that I have that I work with at ESPN every day. I look at other people in the business. I got a bunch of friends at FS1. You know what? Michael Irvin's there, Keyshawn Skip, uh, Richard Sherman, Rob Parker, Chris Boussard. The list goes on and on. Even LaShawn McCoy and Emmanuel Acho and, and Joy Taylor with her fabulous self. The list goes on and on and on. But let me tell you something. I'm the one that's been number one. And at the end of the day, it would be nice for one day for this man to stand before everyone and be like, this is not, I'm number one, and this says I'm number one. Now, one would argue that that may have been the case years ago before because I got my money and then Troy Aikman, I'm sorry, not Troy Aikman, but Tony Romo got his from CBS or whatever the case may be. But I'm not just a talent. I'm a business. I have my own production company. Like you said, I've got my own YouTube channel. I've got my own show. It's not even just a podcast. It's a show with a fully loaded television studio. That's what I built for myself you know, that can go linear or digital. The list goes on and on. I'm doing all of these things. I'm not doing all of that to be in second place. I'm not doing all of that to look up at somebody else and see that they're making more than me when I'm producing superior ratings and revenue. No, I'm not doing that. And I'm not apologizing for anybody for it. So it's not, um, I've been treated incredibly well by ESPN. I expect to continue to be well treated well by ESPN. Again, I've got great relationships and what have you. But this is a business and Disney has a right to run its business the way it sees fit. ESPN does as well. But if they do, so do I. I hope that we're able to work it out. I'm confident that we will because I'm incredibly happy there. But we'll see. Thanks for watching the Gateway News. Make sure you subscribe for more content.